Hello and welcome. I'm Clueless Mike and you're watching Modelling for Advantage. So what have we got for you today? We have another unboxing of a Combat Patrol and this one is a pretty exciting one. It's Combat Patrol, the Leagues of Voltan, or squats to the older folk like myself. Let's see what the little short power armoured fellas are gonna look like. So here we have the Leagues of Voltan Combat Patrol. Let's get the old cellophane off and attempt to open the box without tearing it to shreds. There we go. Inside we have our rule book. Same as ever, no doubt. Really nice colour-coded instructions. If you've never built a 40k or Games Workshop in general kit, uh, these instructions really do leave any other manufacturers completely in the dust. Uh, Games Workshop does cost more, but there are certain things that they do put their money into. Uh, we have your standard bases. These look like, well, let's have a quick guesstimate. I have a model here this is just a standard guardsman on a 25 mil so these look like they are 28.5 mil the new size they seem to be using for smaller than space marine models or generally one moon models in 40k so i'm going to get some of the names wrong here so i'm going to quickly flip this the other way up so i can use the correct names there's the first so first up, this looks like it is part of the Carthonian Berserker Sprue. So these are great big naked dwarves. So they're apparently miners, uh, but they are close combat monsters in the game. Um, these are complete kits. So this in this um, starter set, these are the complete multi-part models, um, which have lots of different build options. So on these guys, you can give them hammers you can give them giant axes which i think look the coolest uh, you can give them twin fists which also look really cool um they've got really nice running poses and they're pretty pretty beefy models when you look at the actual picture but looking at the sprue for size purposes so let's get our guardsman back in here this is a standard size old style guardsman not as big as the new ones that squat there is pretty small considering he's a really big like strength five squat guy um he is still smaller than an old style guardsman so that's good to know that the squats are actually squat uh game wise this unit is incredibly strong uh when they were first released they were i think 23 points a model uh they put them up to 30 points before the actual codex came out because they realized how broken they were and they're still possibly the best close combat unit in the game they hit super hard they've got better thunder hammers multiple attacks with them um they're surprisingly durable for a naked guy um and they also get to fight on death so if you charge in with your uh, close combat unit kill an entire unit of these guys they still all get you to hit you back uh for no expenditure of cp or anything uh they are super good so they'll nearly always kill what kills them here's the other part of their sprue really densely packed as always one of the interesting parts of this sprue, and I'm going to see if I can find it on here, is that you get, here we go, so they're massive close combat unit, but you get a mortar in there. Um, and the way it works is you kind of like give a mortar to one of your guys, and then he gets a weird robotic hanger on, which I can't quite see on the sprue, who follows him around holding his close combat weapon for him. It looks a little derpy to me. It's really good in game, and it fires mole mortars, which are something which are from the history of the squats, they used to always have mole mortars, and I think it's just the way they've done of shoehorning it into the modern range. But it, it's just a bit weird giving an indirect fire weapon to a fropping berserker unit who are generally going to be in a transport. But hey hum, their choice. What have we here? So this looks like the Carl, uh, which is basically the captain or the chapter master for the uh, Leagues of Voltan. Uh, this is a really interesting model. It is a single sprue there but it's actually got quite a lot of build options. So this build is a standard Carl, um, but you can give him different weapon choices. I think there's a power fist, a power axe, or a power sword. They've got slightly fancy names because they're slightly better. It gets different options for crests. You'll find a lot of the Leagues of Old Town models wear basically crests that come out of their 
um, back of their armor and go over their head and generally either give you a force field or a teleport ability so you get multiple options for those you get different gun options as well and you also get the options to build this as a special character so whereas normally in the start collecting boxes you get a character model and you don't often want more than one of these because it's often a single pose figure no options you can easily use two to three of these um, you can build one as a special character in case you want to use them. You can build one with one weapon set, one with a different weapon set, different crests on the back. So actually a really good addition. And more or less every Leagues of Voltan army you make up will have a Carl in it. Okay, we move on to probably the best thing in here. These are the Leagues of Voltan trikes, as it were. They used to be trikes when they were squats. These are floating trikes. They are two um, dudes riding them or dudettes. Um, these are quite big models as well. You can see the size of the trike there. It has two um, Leagues of Voltan guys on top of them. And they're called the Kin, the uh, members of their race. They've got loads of different doodads. I've heard many a tale of this kit, but it's a pretty tricky kit to put together. So... That is a single bike on one sprue and the other sprue has two. There are so many add-ons and doodads you can use to kind of like customize and create a more unique looking bike. There's loads of rucksacks. There's loads of extra weapons you can bolt on. There's loads of different heads for the models. All kinds of stuff to make the model really spruced up, but it makes it really tricky to paint because there's so many little detail bits. Personally, for a single bike I wouldn't want to be spending a whole load of time painting it so I'd probably leave off a load of them uh, but they are those and as you can see really is an awful lot of bits on there game wise they're the fastest unit in the Lisa Votan Codex they get to advance move and they're obsec they are key to playing the army because you need some units with mobility and getting mobile obsec with a load of firepower and reasonable toughness is a really good deal so you're going to be wanting some of those um last up in here i believe is the sprues for the what are they called they are called the halfkin warriors i thought that as well but i held off saying so um so the spruce of these this is again the full kit um you get 10 dudes in the unit and they get uh, base options of a bolt gun or a special kind of light plasma gun um and they fit out the whole unit with those, but they also get various special weapons you can add in. You get a medic, you get a communicatory guy, loads of, you can see how tightly packed this is. There are massive amounts of options and customization on these. Really good to see that they haven't gone with mono pose single option models here. They've gone for a proper uh, base range, uh, really nice. There are some awesome weapons that the Leader of O10 get, like this thing here is a basically a handheld rail gun. It is... <laughs> many many times better than a las cannon <laughs> by by a lot and it's just held by a little squat guy um the base bolt guns are just better bolt guns the plasma things are marine killers uh they get close combat weapons for the sarge the medic upgrade is really good they get to ignore the first wound they take in a phase and they can also bring guys back from the dead really strong unit one thing to note about this squad and also the whole range really other than maybe the berserkers i'm not certain about those is that they've really integrated female models into the range um because they're dwarves in quite heavy armor and quite stylized armor they don't need to give different body shapes um for the male and female so they're giving you a real mix of heads and the heads are quite distinctively male or female without being a kind of like a barbie head or anything like that which i think is always looks a bit off on models where they just kind of like throw in a silly looking head they look realistic female heads really cool heads some of them really give a lot of details you can make a nice young um guy an old man a young lady mature lady there's lots of different options there and they all look actually pretty good the faces are really well detailed in these kits and then we just have a few more bases these are the bases for the bikes you can see they are pretty chunky models because they fill up those bases then we have one slightly bigger base, I suspect that's the Carl. And then one really big base, this is for the strange little diorama thing with a berserker with a mole mortar on and then his weird hanger on that stands at the back. So that's those. And then lastly, we have a jam-packed transfer sheet. 
I'm not a big user of transfers, certainly not on my 40k models, um, but if you are a big user, this sheet looks utterly awesome. You've got all kinds of numbers, I like it when they do black and white, so you can choose which one stands out well against your colour scheme. Loads of cool little symbols, all the different sizes and such. Looks like a really good transfer sheet, loads of little runic marks down here. Excellent, if you use that kind of thing, that is gold dust. Okay, overall, that's actually a, a pretty good set, I think. All of the units there are very usable in the army as a whole. Um, you would field all of them happily in a competitive list and in a non-competitive list. Um, the models are all really good. It's really interesting for me to see the actual size of them. They are smaller than I imagined, um, which, is, which I think is actually a good thing. I think squats really should be quite squat, as they say. Um, but overall, there's a lot of plastic in that box, and I think you'll be pretty happy with them. They're all brand new models, and you can't really kind of like get a better deal for them, and you'll be using them all. So if you're intending to start this army, I'd happily start with probably at least two of this box. Okay, thanks for watching. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. Thank you.